What's up town? I was down with him boots and brother. And what year was that? Do you remember? 54. 54. And how was it back then? 11. Elaborate. How would you say the businesses was, the atmosphere, the people? Well, people was all doing pretty good at that time because Black Bottom was the expressman would come in and that we were being replaced. People were so much, they moved in the same house twice. And then what kind of, what schools did you go to? What, do you remember your grade school or high school you went to? Barstow, then I went to Duffield. After yeah, Duffield, I went to Miller. That was in 45. Yeah. Okay. And then, um, who who was your parents and what was their occupation? What did they do for a living? Carl and Newell Jackson. Yeah. Who were my parents? My father worked at Ford. My mother worked at a clinic. And how many sisters and brothers did you have? I was the only child. I was very rare because I was the only child who lived in the project. Wow. And what um what would you say when you say the when you say black bottom? What would you say um what memories fun memories that you have of that? Well, I learned a lot. I was young boy, 12, 13 years old. And I did a lot of growing up in Black Bottom. Okay. And did you grow up with some of the legends? Like boxers or uh, well, singers? or? That came when I got to high school. I met Joe Harris, who was Henry Hank, and Ted Wright. And Charles Yeager, Walter Seven. Keep yourself looking good as shit. Wow. Did you, you meet uh, Ted Wright at school or you met him here when he was over here at the Bruce? Ted Wright at Bruce Center. Did you know his brother Bobby Wright as well? No, I knew Bobby Wright from Persia. Okay. Not, not from Bruce. <laughs> Um, tell me, do you do you recall the um, the 1943 uh, riot here in Detroit? No, so I wasn't even in Detroit. I didn't come to Detroit in 1944. Okay, do you recall the 1967 riot here in Detroit? Yes, I do. Can you tell me something about that? How old were you? Do you remember? I was grown when the 67 riot came. And we had a... They lived on San Road. And um, the tanks came up and down the street. We had to get good to see it. Mm -hmm. What was the, at the atmosphere like? Did you all have a curfew? I mean... Well, at first it was like, it was like a carnival. But after we got, got the fighting and shooting, it became kind of serious. And how long um, did that last? Do you recall? Was it a week? It was or? a week. Wow. And I, I heard um, at that time that we, we lost a lot of businesses too down in Black Bottom. Well, there was nothing down in Black Bottom but during the riot. Mm -hmm. The 67 riot, that I can recall. But, uh, it was all up and around 12th Street where everything was happening that was going on. And then, um, if you can go back in time, what what would you change? What era would you change or if you would change it? I wouldn't change nothing because I learned too much. I learned how I live. I was survive. What wisdom would you give these this younger generation today? Do the best you can and get through an education if you can. And get through a firm hope on what you got. Right. And what um can the new Brewsters learn from the old uh, time Brewsters? Well, the new Brewsters, that's right, that's right, that's right. We can learn how, how to use stepping stones, what stepping stones to use to get to where you want to be. 
No matter where you want to be a boxer, they have the boxers who come through. You want to be a basketball player? You can learn to be a basketball player. You want to be a teacher? There were teachers around. Recreation instructors. All a lot of guys could advise you as to how to become a man. That was one of the main things. Becoming a man. A responsible man. Okay. All right. And then, um, do you know any um, history about Idlewild? Can you tell me something about Idlewild, Michigan? No. Out of while, was the place that I heard about. We wasn't, we didn't have enough money to go out of while. My parents went out of while. They, they couldn't take me. Well, they wouldn't go up there on weekends. They couldn't take me. Out of while was the place that I heard about. But we just knew about the Frank Show Bar, Cooper Kim, the Frank Show Bar. We took to the out of while later on. Wow. Okay. And then, um, did you want to, what was the difference between Paradise Valley and um, Black Bottom? Was one a jazz sex sector and then one was for the blues or it was just the part of town it was in? It was just part of town where you could, I liked it because you could go see entertainment free. Didn't have to pay no money to go to entertain down in Paradise Valley. Yeah. You had a certain time you go in the flame so far you were going free. Wouldn't have to pay no cover charge. What were some of the businesses' names? Do you remember some of the bars, some of the stores, the market? El Cino. Yeah, I was going to buy some of my father. There was a lot. Yeah. What was the one that Mr. Sonny owned? Say Wilson. Uh huh. What about? He owned which one? Which bar? I forgot what the name of Say Wilson owned, but that was Garfield Lounge. Mm hmm. A lot of guys play ball for the Matthew Lounge. The 20 grand? 20 grand. Wow. Those were wow. late, late coming. Yeah, I get what you mean. But yeah. the center's still up. Wow. That's the only thing that... And what, what, what would be uh, one of your Valley favorite Valley, um, blues Simpsons. versus jazz singers? Yeah. Ooh. So many, huh? Yeah, well... But that's good. Yeah. Yeah. Gerald and Mary, like Plain Land, she was the best. Uh, I like to see it at the end of that one over on August trip. I mean, yeah. And she was saying, what a difference a day make that was down in Washington. You know, when the whole world Wow. Yeah. I love that song. Yeah. I said, I love that song. <laughs> Right. Well, I thank you for your time. Thank you. Thank you.